Hi, I'm going to explain the uh, crop cash currency system proposed from Providence, Rhode Island. We've got these beautiful stamps that uh, have been created to denote uh, labor values. That is the uh, red arc symbol, which is uh, equivalent of a day's labor of a talented Providence uh, worker. And the blue is the tide, which is uh, more of a, a good half day's, good solid come in and come out like the waves kind of uh, um, effort. So we're planning to uh, be able to uh, represent value where currently there's no dollar cash to do that. So we've been stamping these symbols and uh, they're very finely printed, difficult to reproduce with the uh, extra border there. And um, we've been stamping them in books. I uh, would like to be able to give people something that actually has some value, such as a classic of literature like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and uh, also let them trade it back to get some food. Um, this system was created for garden work, but uh, it really could be used in any kind of labor. So we've got the books stamped twice, most of them. Um, some of them once, like these little handbooks. And um, there's just basically units. Uh, the basic unit of this uh, crop cash system is called the comb. And uh, those red symbols are uh, worth three comb apiece. So with two of them in there, it'd be worth six. We've got uh, you know books on all different topics so people can actually educate themselves about uh, you know, anything from the economy to uh, personal health and beauty. And uh, we can make different combinations of stamps to show uh, different values that these would be. Um, so the tides, right? That's called the tide, the blue symbol, worth two units. The arc worth three. We've got oceanic books, and then there's little stamps there, which would show the bank that backs it, which are all agricultural groups. Uh, we're the fertile underground, so we grow vegetables here in Providence and uh, we're going to continue supplying vegetables and making sure that this currency is uh, value valued. Um, so when you've got a book like this, it's got three arcs, or three uh, tides, blue waves, that's worth nine pieces, right? Now we've got these, the comb right now is being equivalented to 25 US dollars. So that blue tide is worth 50 bucks if you want to buy it in cash. Now we're confident that this currency will maintain value based on it being tied to the labor, our primitive and modern social organizations, and, uh, and by healthy diet. So I think we're in a really good position to uh, be able to you know, gather up some money to do some pretty cool stuff right now. We're uh, opening a grocery store and starting a new garden next year. So we need to raise some, some cash to do that to operate right now. So, for example, getting a book like that with a bunch of stamps can really get us a long way. We've got little mini books like this, German Dictionary, one stamp. But that's a $75 stamp, and that's worth a day's worth of work. You want to trade that book back something like uh, Celtic Tree Magic here, yeah, you can get some, get somebody to come and trade you for some work, and they know that they can come back to the Fertile Underground, go to the grocery store, go to the garden, and we'll make good on it. And in the meantime, you're hanging on to some cool-ass, uh, glossy book of comics, or something really uh, informative and helpful from a spiritual level. Uh, we've got books about feminism, books about labor rights, books about health and nutrition, and uh, fine classics. That's pretty much it. So, some of these uh, books, like I said, are, are stamped multiple times. Um, you can always add up the different values. We're going to be putting out um, little, uh, more like zine publications that are worth one unit, uh, worth, you know, just a single comb, but right now we're working with the ARCs. Um, and these are all hand-picked books. Um, really cool. That's a cruising guide to New England for sailors. You know, sweet copy of Alice in Wonderland. Once again, um, just a beautiful uh, artistic edition. And um, the, re the another benefit of having the double page, the extra page, um, is that you know, in practice, that extra tide right there on the free page could be torn out and actually traded again and become its own free-flowing currency. Um, we're hoping that people can actually add their own stamps onto these that would show backing. Like here's a little um, 
uh, unit one we have that has the FU stamp on there for Fertile Underground, so you know that we will make good on that uh, note. Now another group, like a bookstore or uh, a bike shop or uh, a coffee house, could also put their stamp on it on any one of these free flowing pages or on the book itself and just add value, add strength to that, um, that piece of currency. And uh, we've got different, a lot of different forms, you know, silly books about the weirdest stuff you can imagine, even, uh, you know, but then also CS, that's a book about CSAs, um, and uh, which is really relevant for this. This is part of our uh, community supported grocery effort. We've got magazines, mysticism, um, but right now, if we can, you know, get some of these books out there, we can raise some money to get the, to build the underground network build up our grocery store, get our shelves, get our kitchen equipment, and uh, be able to have a righteous grocery store and um, fill it up with a bunch of food. So we're here fighting the good fight, just trying to spread some good literature and uh, at the same time be able to have the, uh, the wherewithal and the capital to, to keep moving and be able to, to make a life for ourselves. So help us grow, help us do it. We're a bunch of uh, Farm, farming providentials and we need your help. Grow it.